I am Dr. Balaji Jagannath. I am a practicing diabetologist at the Apollo Sugar Clinics at Padmanabh Nagar and JP Nagar, Bangalore. I want to talk today about diabetic nephropathy, also known as diabetic kidney disease. The most common cause of kidney failure worldwide is diabetes. And if the blood sugars are uncontrolled, especially if they have a longer duration of diabetes, then the risk of developing diabetic kidney disease is that much higher. Remember, almost all patients with diabetic kidney disease will be asymptomatic. An occasional patient might have swelling in the feet, what we call pedal edema, or they might complain that when they pass urine, it might be frothy in nature. So that's an indication that there is protein leakage through the urine. Now, why does a person develop diabetic kidney disease? As I mentioned, uncontrolled blood sugar is one of the risk factors and also uncontrolled blood pressure, smoking, if the lipid uh, levels are not under control, then that also along with diabetes can increase the risk of developing diabetic kidney disease. What is important is that patients uh, who run the risk of developing kidney disease should get an annual checkup done for trying to pick up kidney diseases at an early stage. Now, from a pathophysiological perspective, uh, diabetics develop kidney disease because there is damage to a structure called the glomerular basement membrane and that in turn would lead to leakage of certain molecules called protein in the urine. So we call that albuminuria. So it's very important for every diabetic to get an annual or even six months checkup for the presence of albumin in the urine. So there is a test called microalbumin to creatinine ratio and that would help us to pick up the early stages of diabetic kidney disease. In more advanced cases, there's another test called protein to creatinine ratio, which can also be elevated. And along with that, they will also have to get a serum creatinine and the calculation of an eGFR done. Always remember, all patients with diabetic kidney disease will also have background retinopathy. So when you get your assessment done for kidney disease, also screen for diabetic retinopathy. If retinopathy is present, and there is kidney damage, then we can label that as diabetic nephropathy. Now, how do you prevent or treat diabetic kidney disease? Most important is blood sugar control. So we should ensure that your HbA1c is kept less than 7%. There are certain medications, uh, what we call it as RAS inhibitors. They have a protective role for the kidney that is also given. If a patient has gone advanced kidney disease, we might not be able to give certain medications and then only insulin becomes the treatment of choice. Also avoiding nephrotoxic drugs, certain painkillers, uh, the use of radio contrast medium, uh, dehydration, smoking, these all can aggravate the renal function. So they can, it can further deteriorate the renal function. So that also has to be avoided. But what is important is that if you already have kidney disease, keep the blood sugar and blood pressure under control. So it will, it will prevent the further deterioration of the renal function and the patient might prevent an end stage renal disease, what we call stage five of kidney disease. And we might prevent dialysis or the requirement of a renal transplantation in such patients. Thank you.